Let's talk about two common ways to model domain objects from the Domain Driven Design Toolkit, entities and value objects. Generally speaking, there are a number of fundamental differences between objects that represent something like a member of your application and an object that represents something like a specific shade of red. When referring to a member, we often explicitly model the concept of identity with a member ID, shown here with a little ID badge. When we model the concept of a phone number or a color or an amount of money, these objects don't have IDs. A member is an example of an entity. A member generally has a life cycle. Its attributes can change over time. They register, they subscribe, they renew, they do all kinds of interesting things. But no matter what changes, we can keep querying on that ID and know that we're going to get the same member. Having a stable ID makes it possible for their attributes to change while providing a high level of stability when it comes to querying for or referring to that member. Now, when we model a color, we don't have this requirement. A color isn't ever going to need to change. This isn't to say that a member's favorite color won't ever change. A member has a life cycle. Its attributes are expected to change. A member can change their mind about their favorite color and still be the same person. However, a certain shade of the color red can't change to a different shade and still be the same. That's the major difference between how we perceive these types of objects. When we model something with a life cycle, something that's identified with an ID, it's called an entity. When we model something whose attributes are its identity, that's a value object. Entities are compared by reference semantics and value objects by value semantics. Let's look at this in detail. When comparing two members for equality, what algorithm makes sense? Are they the same if all of their attributes are the same? Or are the members the same if their IDs are the same? What about colors? Are two colors the same if their attributes are the same, or do we compare identity? You can see how objects like members are compared by ID, where objects like colors are compared based on the value of their attributes. Two objects refer to the same member if they have the same identity, no matter how different their attributes are from one another. However, two objects refer to the same color solely based on their value of their attributes. If you change the amount of red in a mixture, then suddenly these two objects represent different objects.